this is going to be fucking fantastic. I'm so excited I, for this game. And they're going to the last match. Yeah, this is. <laughs> and even though even though they aren't racing, they're they're doing the face race. It's yeah. okay. This is, I just love the interplay between these two players. One's playing Lilith, one's playing Cassiva, and we're seeing like the different sorts of utility they're able to bring to the table through their Bloodborne spells. We were just saying that we thought Abyss Abyssal Scar was a bit stronger, but you know maybe getting those Wraithlings, giving you a little bit more reach where you can summon your unit, or getting the extra value out of the Ritual Banishing um, might be the key this matchup. Well, I like this. Pagogo's like, oh, wait, I forgot. This is the Amazing Race. I'm going to get the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I get. I don't know. Maybe he thinks he's not favored in the matchup and like the burn race, so he's just like, eh, I want to start getting the corners just to like, just in case. That's probably for the best, because when you are going first, he saw uh, also last, last game was when he played that Aether Master into the center, and it got blown out by yeah. Ooze Saul. Ooze Saul, that's awesome. That's so good. I, I actually am surprised we haven't seen like a, Cy, uh, a Saul Ion deck yet. Because well, that was one of my cool Songhai lists was less like a battle pet with Crimson Coil and stuff. Yeah, because if, you, if your opponent's board is empty, the Ion just pings the mess out of them. Does double damage. So you can buff them, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, it looks like Pagogo's like I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna pressure you via damage and via um, the race itself. Come on! All right, we got a puppy on me. We got a puppy on me. <laughs> you can't see, but it's here. What did uh What did he hit with the uh, White Widow? Anything? Um, the White Widow went face twice. Oh, jeez. <laughs> So yeah, he's getting the pressure on. I think the logo <coughs> recognized that the last match actually went on kind of long. They yeah, were, they were kind of slugging it out in the late game. So they were they were fearing the special revenants by the time the uh, you know by the time that late game came through. But if Pagogo just happens to be in a decent position, that puts Jananator on a much more pressured state because he's completely foregone stepping into his home corners. Yeah. So now Pagogo's got these, like, two-tiered attack where he can, like, just sort of casually walk to the other side and also deal damage at the same time. And like, I think that Janinator, because he has the Wraithlings here to sort of body block, might actually um, be slightly more favored against this two-prong attack. But with the Abyssal Scar, it kind of cancels it out. But we'll see how this ends up playing out. One thing that we haven't... Uh talked about with this is that Pagogo almost certainly doesn't have silhouette tracers in his deck. Oh, right! If you're going strictly for the burn, then that four-mana slot that would normally be reserved for silhouette tracer now has White Widows and Decimus in it. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm. So I think here you probably just slap down a... Uh, oh, I, li I lied. <laughs> he does have silhouette tracer in his deck. <laughs> Ooh, so he okay so maybe Pagogo is like really thinking ahead like going for this burn hybrid and then Silhouette Tracer allows you to get out of sticky situations maybe yeah. but he recognized that there probably were certain matchups where the burn just oh wasn't God. going to be a viable option so he's able to take the four corner route uh, I mean, this is mighty dicey right now, though. <laughs> yeah, he's he's really getting put in. He's gotta he's gotta find like a void pulse or something like lickety split. He can at least kill the venom toth with with abyssal scar. Oh my god, what do you do? I don't know. I feel like you have to keep going for the race, though. Like, fortunately, <laughs> the aether master allows him to dig, but. I think he's dead. He's got he's got the old uh, uh, ooze soul combo here that is he saw at the beginning of the game. Look at that, jeez. Oh right, he steps towards the flame blood warlock, of course, because he doesn't have to worry about it killing him. Yeah. But that just makes it so the ooze isn't near anything, any other targets. 